Welcome to Unit 3. In this unit, we're going to talk about decimals. Now, our first uh, part of this is uh, we're going to be going further than you did before. Uh, in grade 4 and grade 5, you worked on, th on uh, decimals which were up to tenths and hundredths, which are the first two place values to the right of the decimal. And now we're going to go a little bit further. So before we begin talking about what the decimals are, where do you find decimals? Well, if you look around you or you keep track of things, you're going to find the decimals are used all over the place. Obviously, we use them in math. That's the first thing everybody says. And then other places where you will obviously use them is in money. Uh, we know we have like $6.32, the 0.32 uh, or is 32 hundredths of a dollar. So we don't usually go around saying, uh, you know, 1 and 32 one hundredths of a dollar. We just say $1.30, uh, some cents, something of that nature. All right. So we're going to learn how to read them. We're going to learn how to write them. And we're going to break them up a little bit later and put them back together so you get a chance to work with these. The bird on the right over here you can see is an ostrich. It's the world's largest bird, and it can have a mass of 159.134. Now, I have said 159.134 because that's what normally happens. However, that is incorrect. You don't use the word point. What you do is you break it up into its whole number, which is the 159. So we would say 159. And the decimal is you use the word and because the 159 is the whole number. And now you're going to talk about the 134, which is the part number or the fraction of a number. All right. So to read this number out loud, you'll be reading 159. And now this is 134. So you go to the place value of the 4. If you look down here in my place value chart, you can see that if I was going to put this in the place value chart, I'd have the 1 here, I'd have the uh, 3 here, and I'd have the uh, 4 here. And you'll notice that this is in the thousands place. So when I read it, it's going to be 159. You're going to read this part first. Then you're going to press and for the decimal. So 159, 159, and 134. And now you read the big number or, or the place value, the thousandths. All right. So this is 159 and 134 thousandths. Now, we're going to go a little bit further on this. Um, and you can see here what I've done is the answer. But if I went and added just another number right here, this complicates things slightly, doesn't it? Okay, I'm going to try to make a 6 there. All right. So now what we're going to do is you're still going to do the same thing. You're going to read this number, and then you're going to add what the last place value is. Now, when you normally read 1346, we go 1,346. That's what you're going to do here. You read the whole number as if there's no decimals in it at all. 1,346. 1, now, if you don't add the place values at the end here, then you know this is 134. 1,346, and it just stops there, right? There's 1,000 of them, 300 of them, 40 of them, and 6 of them. If you add these parts, the place values at the end, now you're telling the person who's listening that you're now working in decimals. So to read 1346 after the decimal, this is 1,346 ten thousandths. Okay? Let's go do a little bit more practice here. All right. Now, I've got my calculator here so you can see what I'm doing, but I'm going to take 32 and I'm going to divide it by 50 and you're going to get a uh, you're going to get a decimal. And that has got a zero and a decimal and a six and a four. When I put this into my uh, place value chart, you'll see that I've got uh, zero tens, zero ones. There would be zero hundreds and zero thousands to the left over here. Here's where your decimal is right underneath this part right there. That's the dividing. All right. And you've got six tenths and four hundredths. So to read this, first thing you do is you read this number. And that number is 64. All right. Now you go up and you read the place value of the last digit. Since the four is in the hundredths, this becomes 64 hundredths. Okay. So you have to know what the place value of the last digit is. So you're going to have to know your place value chart. Right? Tenths, hundreds, thousands, ten thousand, hundred thousands, millions, ten millionths, hundred millionths, and then you go on to billions and then all on, and, and so on and so forth. So you're gonna have to keep track of what these place values are. All right, so let's go on to another example here. If I divide that number again by fifty, this is what it becomes. Yeah, now I have a zero ten zero ones. I have my decimal, same place, right here, and I've got zero tenths, one hundredths, two thousandths and eight ten thousandths. Now to read this number, you read this number right there. Once you know what this number is, then you add 
the place value of the last digit. So this is 128 ten thousandths. 128 ten thousandths. So you first have to identify the last place value of the last digit. The eight is in the ten thousandths. Once you know that, you just read the number 128 ten thousandths. Here's another one. Now I've got zero tenths, zero hundredths, zero thousandths, two ten thousandths, five hundred thousandths, and six millionths. So what is the place value of the last digit? Well, it is in the millionth place. So how do we read this? Same way as we did before. What is this digit, or what is that number right there? That's 256. And then you add, after that, the last place value. So this is 256 millionths. All right. Now here's another one. Slightly more complicated. Now you notice this one here has got a 1532, and this is not difficult at all. All you're going to do is the same thing we've just done. Identify what the last digit's place value is. In this case, it's ten thousandths. So to read this one, it's going to be whatever this number is right there. So read that normally with all of the thousands and everything in there that you normally would read. So this is 1,532. Now add the ten thousandths. So 1,532 ten thousandths. Okay? 1,532 ten thousandths. Here's another one. 327976. Okay, so now what we're going to do is same thing. Ignore everything and just take a look at this number right here. What is this number? Well, we have 327, and that's in the thousands place, DS, and then 976. So you're going to be write, writing down 3,000, sorry, 327,000. 976, and then you're going to add the place value of the last digit, the six is in the millionths. So 327,976 millionths. So this is what it is in number word form. Oh, that's weird. I think I put, yeah, I got a typo here. Okay. This is supposed to be 327. All right. It's, so it's 327, and it should be thousands. 976. And now I go million THS. Okay, so there's the proper one right there. So I've got, uh, I can get rid of this thing right here. I don't need that. So 327,976 millionths. And you'll notice that the millionths is, be is, is because of the last digit's place value. Okay, moving on. I want you to uh, take a look at and try to do these. So pause the recording and then do these, these five questions. All right, now let's take a look at this. So this one here is 123, and if you look back on your previous page, you would find that the three is in the, this is the tenths, hundreds, sorry, tenths, hundreds, thousands. This is in the hundreds, the thousands place. So this is 123 thousandths. Now the three is in the hundreds place, so this is simply three hundredths. The three has been moved over, it's in the thousands place, so this is three thousandths. This is 104 with the four in the thousandths place, so this is 104 thousandths. Now this one is 1,436, but I have to know what the sixth place value is, so tenths, hundredths, thousandths, ten thousandths, hundred thousandths, millionths. So this is 1,436 millionths. So that's how you do it. Now, in the assignment, you're going to find other parts where it asks you what each individual number means. And then to answer those questions, you're going to have to go and take a look at the number that's in the place value. All right. So, for example, it's going to say something like, what is uh, the four represent in this number? Well, if you take a look, this is tenths, hundreds, thousands, ten thousandths. So that four is actually four ten thousandths or forty thousandths. Okay, so you can take through and take a look at the textbooks. Uh, most of it's review from before, so you should have no difficulty. So we will see you in lesson 3.2.